We got to get. What's up, guys? It's your boy, Turn to the Gamer here, and welcome back to more Rugrats Mystery Adventures. And to today's video is special for two reasons: one, it's the 1400th video on the channel, and two, it's our special Mother's Day edition video. So, happy Mother's Day to each and every one of you, whether you're in New York or in my old home state of Maryland, wherever you are around the world. Happy Mother's Day to all of you, so let's review our case, but first I can tell you about the high scores because as you'll see we have an illicitly different high score than in previous episodes, that's because I had to start the game all over again because my recorder decided to be a dick when I was filming this episode originally. So, I have a different high score, but we'll be able to raise that up as we go along again. But I don't really think the high score matters because, you know, as you see, 7,030, 7, 69, 20 there, 7, 30, there you go. Basically, you know, we'll get it. Anyway. Let's review the mystery. A client. So much for spending all day on the business end of a binky. Oh well, a defector's got to do what a defector's got to do. Another day, another diaper. Tommy's the name. Defecting's the game. But I like I can go peek too. I need your help, Mr. Defective. Somebody stole my car and took it for a joy drive. Keep talking, you're good at it. <laughs> joy drive. I was driving through the park when I saw a butterfly. So I got out of my car and started chasing it. When I came back, my car was gone. Us defectives have a name for what happened to you. Grand Thief Auto. But it wasn't <laughs> stolen. I Grand Thief Auto. Ha <laughs> ha. It's enough to make a poor, sweet, innocent girl like me want to stop chasing butterflies. Don't worry, Mrs. Susie. I'm going to make it safe to chase butterflies in this town again. I'm going to take the case. Grand Thief Auto. I can't get over that. <laughs> Anyways, we'll get started momentarily, but there's actually a little bit of a, little bit of a parody Easter egg when you exit the game at some point, so let's show you that. Alright. Here it is. Bye -bye. Uh, so I won't. Here's not looking at you, kid. Yeah, she parodied Casablanca. Blanca. <laughs> she parodied Casablanca, man. Oh my God. She actually parodied that in this game. I know it's a mystery game, but come on, come on, Mattel. Did you have to be so obvious? All right. Let's head to home heaven. Oh, there's a clue. Ah, well, I bet even Edison had to go to home heaven sometimes. Come on, kids. Home heaven. Hey, look, faucet accessories. Stu, will you please stay focused? Wow, that's the funniest looking vacuum cleaner I ever seen. Vacuum cleaner? You know what that means, right, Elliot? Okay, time for the crazy ball catching. Come on, you got this. Bouncing, bouncing, bouncing ball. Ah, oh, the bouncing ball, make the play. Hang in there, though. We've almost got him. And bam! We did it, you guys! We got all the balls! Uh, Phil? Phil? You can stop shaking now. No, we can't! Let's see what our score was. 1920. 69-20. Okay, so not our high score, but... Pretty dang high. Wow, I could make a really big mess in here. 
Okay, let's back up. Get out of my way. Will you please get out of my way? And so now you're back out of heaven, and now let's get back in. I could fix this if I weren't out of duct tape. I guess I better go to home heaven. I'll take the kids with me to keep me distracted, so I won't walk out with a handful of faucet accessories again. This place really is heaven. Now, where do they keep those hydraulic shopping carts? Oh, Stu. All right, let's get our. Hey. Actually, let's get our next clue here. So let's go to over here, and we'll be going that in just a moment. Alrighty then, let us continue. This must be where my daddy gets stuff to fix his inventions. <laughs> you can't get rid of all of us. Bad No, Dill! M O no. Ha <laughs> ha. Cute low. Down, no way, he doesn't want it. He wants to keep firing away! <laughs> Waterlogged? Do you even know what that means, Phil? I don't think so, buddy. Out to the open and fire! Fire, fire, fire! Don't shoot, Joe! Get away from me! <laughs> Stay away! Stay away! What the? Oh, that sucker snuck up on me! Squirt bonus! 6800! Yeah, yeah! Okay, we'll do this for another quick easy bar. No, nobody has that. She's in the open fire. She's in the open fire, 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 fire. Gotta keep firing. Gotta keep firing. I let him get it. Yeah! Woo! Squirt bonus of how much? 15.30. Not bad. 65.30. I'll take that for a score. Alright. Back for more momentarily, folks. Alrighty then. Let's rock and roll. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, now let's rock and roll. Let's go find the guy. Ain't too many places you can hide. Oh, there he is. I see him. I see you, buddy. This place is hobo. Pretty good, kid. You might be defective material after all. How'd you know I was a defective? I can smell defectives a mile away. How? I got a clean diaper. <laughs> I like you, kid. You're funny. If you can find me, you can find a reptile bar, too. Bring me one, and I'll tell you a little something about that case you're working on. Reptile bars coming up. I've already got three of them. If you need anything else, you know where to find me. So let's turn around and give him one. Hey there. Literally just have to back up five steps and give it to him. <laughs> I was there when it all went down. 
hiding, of course. Well, I can tell you what you need to know. Pick the clues that you think were at the scene of the crime. Hmm. Douglas. Tire tracks. Car tracks and doggy tracks. And a uh, handkerchief, maybe? A hanky chief. Click on the hat when you're done. Do we have it nailed? Good defective. Yes, we do. Next time, we'll figure out who done it. If you need anything else, you know where to find me. Let's nail this down momentarily. Alrighty, everybody. Let's find out who done it. Hey there. Since we know what was it, let's find out who done it. One of you two is a rotted egg. But which one? Do I look like a criminal mustard mind to you? Ha! <laughs> mustard mind instead of mastermind. Ha <laughs> ha! You better be getting me mixed up with Lillian. Why me? Why always me? Do it, and I'm never sharing my worms with you again. I don't do bad stuff. Bad stuff scary. I tell you I'm clean. I just took a bath yesterday. It's not polite to point. Me? I'm made out of snakes and snails and all that other good stuff. Why me? Why always me? Well, we, it's got to be Chucky because Phil can't drive yet. Hmm. Chucky. Hmm. You liked your Susie's car, didn't you? Uh, but nice weather we got today. Huh. You're a scared of dogs, right, Chucky? I'm as scared of everything. And here's what I think. I think you was playing in the park and got too close to the flowers. You sneezed, and then you had to blow your nose. That's why I found a dirty hanky by the flowers. You're being a little too nosy about my nose, Tommy. Ha! <laughs> you your nose, you woke up a big old meanie dog that was tied to a nearby tree, didn't you? Yeah. I, I mean, no, no! The meanie dog broke his leash and started chasing you, and you hijacked Susie's car to get away from it, didn't you? Didn't you? Yes. I did it, I did it, and I'd do it again, too. I didn't want to be puppy chow, but I didn't mean to hit the bush. I mean, I was going so fast, and it was hard to steer, and it just kind of jumped right out in front of me, and I was going to drive the car back to where I found it, but I was uh, scared the junk eating doggy was still there. So am I in her distress, Tommy? <laughs> I'm not gonna distress you, Chucky. You had to hijack the car to save yourself. The only bars you're gonna be behind are the monkey bars. <laughs> Thanks, Tommy. So, there wasn't any persecuting because there wasn't any poopatrating. I understand. I'm just glad Mr. Chucky's all right. Friends is more important than co- Any day of the week. See you around, Mr. Defective. So the case of the Grand Thief Auto was over. That Mrs. Susie sure was something for giving Mr. Chucky like that. Mr. and Mrs. Big, I mean Susie's mommy and daddy bought her an even better car on account of how nice she was. Word has it, the big old meanie dog skipped down. And me, I bought a one-way ticket to Nappy Land. Well, we're gonna solve our next case in our next episode. So, till next time, it's your boy Chan Zing Masana. Remember, if you like the video, please give it a like and subscribe to join Chairman Nation today. Every subscriber helps. And if you have any video game requests, be sure to leave them in the comments of this video or my Twitter feed at Chan 25 And once again, happy Mother's Day to each and every one of you out there. Till next time, peace out.